To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Oh, I just knew you'd come to save me. I promise you, if you help me out of this, I'll make sure you find Bertram. I swear. With Therese out of the way, I can do a lot more than just that for you. Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say, daddy's little girl. Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Be Shut up, Jeanette Tanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he, before he, before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead! I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. He's... You wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. 
I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. A stripping of foulness from the skull of the earth! Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Ah, oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. Nasty dude? Hey. I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? Oh shit, I'm Alcavian. I suppose I'll figure out what the hell you're talking about in a month or so. Man, I hate talking to you guys. I always feel like I'm getting an answer to a question I haven't even asked yet. Ah, oh well. The one and only. The don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. Oh, oh. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. here tonight. Boxes is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe you heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. 
And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to be playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Check the shipment tonight. Order a pizza? Order a pizza? Where are they gonna deliver it, you dumb nuts? Thirteen abandoned warehouse full of kill on site hot pants away? I can think so.
Your handiwork, I presume? Hopefully no Sabat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. I hadn't planned on it. I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air, like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful, you're very likely being hunted by the Sabat.